Okay, this cute little model is designed to show the bile ducts. I'll start with the gallbladder right here. This structure right here is the gallbladder that's going to store bile. This structure right here is going to be the cystic duct named after this sac, this cyst right here called the gallbladder. So this is the cystic duct. These ducts up here would be hepatic ducts. This would be the right hepatic duct and the left hepatic duct coming together to form the common hepatic duct. Now the common hepatic duct plus the cystic duct is going to form the common bile duct and that's what this duct is right here. Okay. So again, cystic duct and common hepatic duct form the common bile duct. Okay, now this common bile duct is going to terminate down here at the hepatopancreatic ampulla, also known as the ampulla of Vader. Okay. Now this yellow duct right here is going to be the pancreatic duct. This is the pancreas, this orange structure right here, that's the pancreas. So this pancreatic duct will bring pancreatic juice into this hepatopancreatic ampulla as well. This structure right here is an accessory pancreatic duct. Okay. And that will also bring pancreatic juice into this region here known as the duodenum. The duodenum is this structure right here. Okay. When the duodenum takes this sharp turn right here, then we're dealing with the jejunum. Okay. But this is the duodenum, this is the first part of the small intestine, and then from here on is jejunum. And these ducts through the hepatopancreatic ampulla will dump bile and pancreatic juice into the duodenum to aid in digestion. This up here is the liver, and this structure right here is going to be the inferior vena cava. Right? Uh, this right here is part of the stomach. This was cut off so that we could see pancreas here and then these blood vessels. Uh, this is the spleen over here. And this blood vessel right here, this blood vessel is going to be the celiac trunk. And the celiac trunk has three branches. There's going to be this branch that goes to the spleen called the splenic artery. There's going to be this branch that goes up toward the liver, and that's the common hepatic artery, and that, of course, will branch. And then this right here is going to be a branch that's going to go to the lesser curvature of the stomach. Okay, that's the left gastric artery. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.